The cross-functional flowchart or swim lanes template has been around for several versions of Visio and had some nice automation features, but as with most things, Visio 2010 takes it a step further. Now the template opens with two stencils. You've got the basic flowchart shape stencil and you also have the cross-functional flowchart shape stencil. And the traditional way to add a new swim lane was just to drag and drop one from the stencil. Now we could just drag one down here and in the old days that would just append it to the bottom but in the new days you can see we can actually put a separate swim lane uh, diagram so to speak on the page before you could only have one per page so let's just delete that and delete and add the swim lane fairly close to the other ones. You can see actually as I drag this there's an orange highlighting that shows you where it will be inserted and I'll just do add it right in the middle and you can see that the shapes in the other lanes move down and the new lane is inserted. Now this whole title shape here is actually a container that we've talked about throughout the book and it's a special type of container in that it's a it's a, li a list container and each swim lane is a list item and that's why you're seeing these special highlights when you dr drag the lane over the the uh, other lanes in there. Another way to do that is you don't have to select anything. You don't even have to have the, the, sw the, the swim lane, the stencil showing. You can simply mouse over the very edge of the lanes and you'll see this little blue arrow with orange highlighting and that says that tells you where you can insert a, a new swim lane. So it actually gives, gives me a tooltip that says insert swim lane shape. Just click that blue arrow and we get a new swim lane up there. We can put one here if we want, right there in the middle. Really easy. So I'm going to delete those because I'm going to keep continuing, continuing on showing you how to add new lanes. You'll notice up here there's the contextual ribbon tab for cross-functional flowcharts. So we can click on that and you can see here we can even just click swim lane and it inserts a new lane for us. And I think that if you select a lane first and then click the button you'll get a swim lane after the selected one. So sure enough now we've got a we've got an empty one here and an empty one here. So that's not really super important for now but uh, also when you want to rearrange the, sh the, the lanes you can just drag them and you'll you can see that we get the orange highlighting with the blue arrows again and that's because each swim lane is a list item so I can bring this down here the shapes move along with it, everything sorts automatically, and we don't have to worry about adding extra space, moving shapes down, then removing the extra space. Visio does it all automatically for us. Another nice feature is resizing lanes. Now, traditionally in Visio, you would select a shape and pull on the handles, but you can see that when I select a lane shape, there are no handles to to pull on. So how do I resize this? Well, it turns out for the cross-functional flowcharts you don't have to select anything. You can just mouse over the borders and you'll see the little arrows there. So I can actually just make this taller. And now there's room for more shapes or shapes in a little bit different uh, position within the lane. So we can do that here. Make this one taller or shorter. And down here. You also notice as I move the shapes around there's, there's a that you've got the auto auto aligning showing up but there's also a margin around each swim lane that allows us to keep everything neat and clean so that you don't have shapes jammed up against the edge of the lane which doesn't look super attractive. The next thing I want to talk about is the phases. So let's go back to the flowchart shapes, the uh, the swim lane specific shapes, the lanes and the separators and let's add a new but they like they call them phase by default. Let's see what happens when we add a separator. Now I'm going to drop one between here and there, and you'll see that this adds this mysterious thing that has no handles or anything that I can select. And that's because I don't really need to select it. If I just mouse over a phase, you'll see I get the left and right arrows, just like when resizing a window, and I can just pull on that and make more room for the phase and you'll see that the shapes scoot along anything to the right scoots along to the right so I can actually come to this phase as well and move it and you'll see that everything afterwards follows it. Now the only disadvantage to this is that Visio pushes everything off to the right so that your drawing spills over onto another page. It doesn't assume that you want to shrink the end of the stuff like, like in Excel when you make one cell wider you make another cell 
narrower. That's not how it works here. So let's just mouse over the very edge and bring it back onto one page. That's all there is to it. So really nice, really nice enhancements. Uh, but you just have to remember to get out of the, the normal visual mode of selecting and pulling on handles when you're dealing with lanes and phases. Some other nice enhancements are on the cross-functional flowchart tab itself. You can do things like rotate the lane labels and they all change. And again, you might want to come down here and make this bit a little bit wider. That's, I don't know how you do that to check that out. You can change the style of the drawing. You can see there's a whole bunch. There's no live preview on this, but there I've got some kind of rounded edges. Um, this is interesting because it puts a, an, an extra title cap on the, the left edge of the, the lanes. So when we do that, we've got an extra title here that came from the top and down to the left. Unfortunately, this is not smart enough to make the whole thing a little bit smaller so that we can fit it on one page. So now we've got to scoot it over here and make it a little bit shorter so that it fits on one page. So let's pull this phase back so we've got enough room on the page. But yeah, it's just nice to be able to, to change the change the look of the, of the whole chart with one fell swoop. Let's rotate those back the way they were. And you can even change the left to right or right to leftness of it. And you can see now this is going from right to left. And again, we'll have to we'll have to scoot it over a little bit. Let's switch it back left to right. You can actually change the orientation to vertical as well, and that transposes the entire the entire chart. So, and then you have to move it around again. And you might want to have change the orientation of the page as well. But you can imagine having to do all this stuff by hand be quite a lot of work. So. I think uh, these are welcome additions and you can work around the, the little quirks that pop up aren't too much to work around. So there you have it, the cross-functional flowchart enhancements in Visio 2010. Pretty cool stuff. Takes a few minutes of practice to get used to them, but I think you'll find they're, they're quite helpful.